So in the last video, we finished off our front end. We listed out our documents and also paginated them. So in this video, we're going to put the final touch on our upload process. And that is to read the document's content and save it to the database. And we need to do this so we can search the documents. Now, because we're accepting different document types, like a simple text file and also a PDF file, we need to let the system know how to read those files and get the data out of them. But the problem is we don't know at the point of running the application which document the user is going to be uploading. So to do this, I'm going to introduce you to something called the strategy pattern. This is sometimes known as the policy pattern. And what this allows us to do is select a certain class at runtime. So this means that we can dynamically new a class based on the user's input, which in our case is the file type. So we'll new up a class and then that class will have the code which knows how to read that type of file. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new config file and list out the types of file meme types that we're going to accept in and what class it should new up. So over in our project, if we open up config folder, I'm going to create a new file in here. So I'm going to create a new PHP file and I'm going to call this file reader. And then inside of here, just like any other config file within Laravel, we're just simply going to return an array. So I'm going to return an array and this is going to be a key value pair and it's going to be the meme type and then what class that should return. So firstly, let's do a text file. So I'm going to do text forward slash plain and this is going to return a file that we're going to create shortly and this is going to return app backslash services backslash text file reader. And then we can just call a instance of that class. So now any other meme types that we want to add, we can simply add a new item to this returned array and just tell it what class to new up. So for now, let's just leave it with just the text and we'll come back later and add a PDF example. And then at the end of the course, you can carry on adding as many different file types as you like, and you can just follow the same pattern. So finally, just let's uh, close that off with a semicolon. So as you can see here, we're returning a class, which we don't currently have, but we want all of our classes to implement an interface. So if you're not used to interfaces, an interface is just a contract, and it's saying if this class implements this contract, it has to do certain things. So let me just show you an example. So over in the project, under app, I'm going to create a new folder here, and I'm going to call this interfaces. And then inside of here, let's create a file reader interface. So I'm going to create a new PHP class and I'm going to call this file reader. The PHP Storm creates a bit of a skeleton for me here. So do namespace in this under app interfaces. And this isn't going to be a class, it's going to be an interface. So let's just change the class keyword here and we're going to change this into a interface. Now, as mentioned, the interface is just a contract. You don't actually put any of your logic inside of here. So we're going to say any class that implements this file reader interface has to have a public function. So we can say public function and it has to have a public function called get contents and that's going to pass in a file. So now any class that wants to implement this interface has to have a public function called get contents. So now let's create our text file reader that's going to implement this interface. So if you remember over in our file reader configuration file, I put this under app services text file reader. Let's create that now. So in the project under app, let's create a new folder here and I'm going to call this services. And then inside of here, I'm going to create a new PHP class and I'm going to call this text file reader. And again, PHP storm has done some boilerplate code for me here. It's namespace this under app services. And it's created a new class called text file reader. Okay, so now we want to bring in our interface. So we can say use app backslash interfaces slash file reader. So now we've brought that in. Let's actually implement this into our class. So we can say implements and we want to implement our file reader interface. Now, if you remember correctly, our file reader interface said that we need to have a method called get contents. So we need to create that now, otherwise PHP will throw an error because our text file reader class doesn't have what the file reader interface says it should. So here we can say public function 
and we're going to call this get contents. I can see here PHP Storm has filled in this for me. It's passing in the file variable and it's worked all this out from the interface. But the final thing to do is actually just return the contents of the text file. Now this is really easy for a text file because we can just use PHP's built-in file get content function. So we can say return file get contents and then we can just return the contents of the file that's being passed in. Okay, so we have the logic now to actually read the contents of a text file. And we also know that if the meme type is of text plane, we want to use our text file reader. So now we just need to implement this. So if we go over to our save document action, and if you remember correctly at the moment for the body, we're just passing in an empty string. So now what we want to do is find out the meme type of the uploaded document. So before we create the new document here, let's just do that here. So we're going to say the class. So I'm going to create a new variable called class. And I'm going to say it's going to be equal to, and we're going to go into our config. And then inside of our config, we want to go into our file reader config. And then we just need to put a full stop here. And then let's append on the meme type. So we can say from our upload array. And remember, we're passing in the request as an array here. So I'm going to say, Inside of that array, I want you to get out the document, which is the uploaded document. And then there's a method on here which can get the meme type. So I can say get meme type. And let's just close that off. So this is going to get the meme type, which for a text file is going to be equal to text forward slash plain. And it's going to append it on to file reader. And it's going to go into our config and then get that out. So what we're expecting to see is something like this. So we're going to say config and it's going to go in just like that. And it's going to go into our file reader config and it's going to say, get me the text plane key. So if we go over back to our file reader, it's going to go here and it's going to say text plane. Okay, perfect. Return me this. So then we're getting a copy of this class. So we know what to instantiate. So let me just get rid of this now. So now we know what class we want and we're getting that from the file upload type. We need to just create a new instance of that class. So I'm going to create a new variable here called reader. And I'm going to set this equal to a new instance of the above class. Okay. And then finally for the body, I'm just going to say body and I'm going to say reader. And I'm going to say reader get contents. And I want you to get the contents from the upload array and the document. Okay. So now you can see how the strategy pattern is actually helping us here. So when the user uploaded the file at this point, we don't know what the file could be. It could be a text file. It could be a PDF file. It could be anything else that you're currently allowing the user to upload that passes validation. So what we're saying is we're going to say, go into our config, our file reader config, and get me the class that's needed for this current meme type. So we're going into the file reader. It's matching this here, text plane. And it's going to grab this class. Now, once it's got this class, we're going to new up this instance. And then finally, now we've newed up the class here, we're actually going to use it and we're going to use the method get contents and we're going to pass it in the document. And then in the get contents method, we're returning the contents of that current file. So later in the course, I'm going to be showing you how to do this for a PDF as well. So if the user uploads a PDF file, we're going to create a new key in our file reader config or PDF, and then we're going to create a new class for the PDF reader. And then that's what will get newed up here. Now, this is why the interface is important. So when we create our PDF file reader, we need to make sure it's got this get contents method on here. And the interface makes sure that the class does implement the get contents method. Because at this point here, once we've newed up the class, this code is never going to change. So no matter what file reader we new up, we always know it's going to have a get contents method on it. So now let's just try this out in the browser and upload another file. So over in our documents, I'm going to click upload and I've just uploaded another text file here and I'm going to click save. And there you can see now we now have three files and the third one for me is validation. But let's jump over to the database. I'm still using Beekeeper Studio here and you can see our new file, our validation file that I've uploaded. And the difference here now is now we have a body and this is the body of that text file. So let's just go over this just one more time 
we get this absolutely clear. We passed in the validation.txt file, and then we pass the upload into our save document action. And then inside of here, we're getting the meme type of that uploaded file, and we're looking for it in the file reader config file. And then over in the file reader config file, we're saying, do you have something for me for a text forward slash plain? And this will match here and it will return the text file reader class. Then we're going to new up a new instance of this. And then we're going to call a get contents method on that text file reader. And then in our text file reader, because we're implementing the file reader interface we created, we have to have a get contents method. And then this simply takes in the file and it gets the contents out of the file and returns the contents back. And then finally, we're simply just saving that against the body inside of our database. So now we're getting the contents of the file. We can actually start adding a search engine finally to this now. It'll be able to search for the title and also the contents of a file. If you are enjoying this series, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get updates as and when future videos are released on this series. Also, check out the other series on my channel. I have a lot of Laravel related content on there. And remember, this course does come with some extra premium content that is completely optional, and that is over on Udemy. And I'll pop a link in the description with a 60% discount code for the first 100 signups. And you can watch the entire series straight away without any adverts.